Good evening. We begin tonight in East Vancouver with a house insurance horror story. It began five years ago when a fire touched off by a firework destroyed a brother and sister's century old home. Next, a permit backlog delaying their ability to rebuild for more than two years. Then, as Bell Puri of CBC's Impact Team reports, more bad news from their insurance company, who they are now battling in court. Siblings Patricia and Bruce Mitchell have decades of memories made in this house, but now it's tough for them to look at it. When flames roared through the duplex late one night just before Halloween a few years ago, Bruce Mitchell was trapped and had to be rescued from a balcony. The careless use of fireworks was likely the cause. I've got over the fire, I've got over losing everything, but now we want to get on with our lives. Nearly five years later, the two are stuck in a fight with their insurance company. The Mitchells wanted to rebuild. To that end, the 105-year-old house would have to be upgraded to meet modern-day bylaws. Those costs are not covered by insurance. In court documents, the Mitchells maintain intact insurance failed to communicate with them in a timely fashion exactly how much they'd have to pay over and above the insurance settlement. It started out at $100,000 on the Monday. It blossomed to 250 by the Wednesday. By the end of the week, it was half, over half a million dollars. The pair didn't have $500,000, so decided not to rebuild and to opt for a cash settlement instead. The Mitchells were shocked by what the insurance company told them next. It had already spent a big chunk of their money on assessing and securing the house over the years. What was coming to them was simply what's left over. From three quarters of a million dollars, they're down to just over 400000 Intact Insurance says older homes can be complex and not everything is immediately apparent. The issues in question, it says, were discovered after further due diligence from the city and unfortunately after the restoration process began. This $300,000 amount relates primarily to uh, securing the property for two and a half years. Um, some selective demolition and abatement, but the actual rebuild did not start. And my clients are being told that they're already $300,000 in the hole. Shortly after that news, the Mitchells sold the house. And on this day, a chance meeting with the new owner. Oh, that's ridiculous. That foundation is maximum 60 grand. He's a developer restoring the house for what he says is nowhere near the price tag the Mitchells were told it would cost. So what they say you'd pay extra. I have done the entire house. So it's not accurate. The matter is scheduled to go to trial next spring. In the meantime, Intact is now also not releasing the portion of money not in dispute. Now that's the hardest part. The home is being built just the way the Mitchells planned, except it's not their home anymore. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.